God, take a good long look. I know we got a job to do, but like, this is unbelievable. Wow, like a postcard, Garland in its prime. Where is everyone? Maybe it's nighttime, uh, there too? Let's look around. Hey, we might be able to get where we need to go through the mine. Yeah, I hope there's a path up. There should be, right? Yeah, I think so. Let's just try it. This is a random question, but what made you move away? From a Kamina, I mean. Um, my dad. Our relationship seemed beyond repair, and so I wanted to make a clean break of it. Yeah. Everybody wants to go to heaven, but nobody wants to die. I don't know why I keep thinking about that. Maybe because, as a kid, I wanted to be treated like an adult, but without growing up. I'm sure most kids feel like that. I want to stay up all night and do whatever I want. Uh, I never wanted to grow up. I never wanted the responsibility of making decisions. I always wanted life to just happen to me. It's sad when it can't anymore. There's just something about Garland. How the town just couldn't keep up with history. It must make me babble about all this stuff because I never left Camino. And sometimes I wonder if I should have. My life would be really different. I wouldn't be here, for one thing. Hey, maybe you should have. You still can, you know. Yeah, I know. If we uh, survive whatever's happening right now. I just always hated that expression. But nobody wants to die. It says nobody wants to do the work. To find enlightenment. Well, enlightenment's hard goddamn work, okay? No shame in sticking to what you know. I'm sorry. I think I just missed my talk. She was the one who usually had to suffer through these, uh, you know, jankatorials. Never realized just how stupid they sound when you're talking to someone without a tail. Sorry. Oh, sorry. It's not stupid. It's, it's the opposite of stupid, actually. What a sweet, sweet liar you are. Just, I want to say thanks. Thanks for letting me help tonight. Oh, hey, I think, I think this is it. Great view, right? Sad city, great view. I'd take a picture, but... Now all we have to do is plant the transmitter. Yeah. You know what? The top of the chapel is the better bet. Higher, less obstructed, let's do it. You were right earlier, I just didn't see it. Someday maybe you'll forgive me. Come on, climb time. Whoa, cool maneuver. If I tried that, my spine would fall out of my body. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, uh, sorry. Do, do you smell that? Uh... Can't say that I do? I didn't smell it before, but that's rot. That's... Whew. Oh, that's bad wood rot. H hurry up and stick the transmitter uh, so we can... Ah! Jacob? Are you okay? Jacob, can you, can you hear me? Hey, Breaker Breaker, you got... Hey. 
Hey! Is... is someone down there? No? Jesus, how tall is this place? Oh my god. Jacob? Where are you? <sighs> Wonderful. This is just full of wonder. Perfect. Ah! Green girl. Green girl. Alex, is this is this you? No. Die. Out. Out. Door. Impossible. So. Time. Alex, stay away from him. It was an accident. What are you doing, Alex? Alex. Girl. Lost beach, care, not dead, horses, and green girl, cake, oh, 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 Alex, stop already. What is this proving? Door open. Door black. black. Time. Time. Yeah. End. Holy hell, I cannot wait to be done with this. Jacob, are you okay? Is anything broken? Jacob! Jacob! Come on, let's go! Up and at him, buddy. Let's... let's do something. Just, 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 wait. Oh, the board gave way, didn't it? Oh. Eesh, are you, uh, okay? Yeah, I'm, mm, fine. It didn't feel like that far of a fall. It's like I just taken a pattern off a chair or something. Are you okay? I mean, like, you look okay, but still checking. Eh, you know, I kind of hate everything right now. Ah, so you're completely unharmed then. Gotcha. God, Miss Adler would be pretty pissed at me if she knew I'd broken into this church. She, uh, always said not to wander around Garland and get a disease. Sorry. Let's, uh, let's get out of here. Can we just do that, please? <sighs> yeah, let's get back up and get that transmitter going.
Is that it? Uh, did we do it? It seems better, right? I think so. I think we did it. I think, I think we really did it. I just, I, I, I can't believe it. Something about this just feels too easy. Why would Alex, why would she just, I don't know. If we beat them, it's not like they rolled over, but- They didn't roll over. We shut the door on their ghost asses. Look at the sky. You see any portals? Hear any weird voices? Feel any time distortions? Because I certainly don't. Yeah, okay, but maybe one's coming down the pike in like three minutes. These things are, they're unpredictable. They're inexplicable. How can we know? Well, we can't know until I guess enough time has passed that we'll feel okay about it. But I'm taking the W now, if you don't mind. I want to enjoy this. God, probably like four in the morning. There's a lot of stuff to sort through, like what to do about anything that's happened. But I don't know about you, I think we earned the rest of the night off. I mean, the storm lifted, right? We should go to the docks, see about getting you a hotel. I'd offer my own place, but I don't know. You saw it. Not exactly pristine. Yeah, I already got a hotel through the school. Or, uh, my employer. If the walkie works, a phone might, I can call a ride. Sounds good. The town's back this way. Let's get rambling. Planted the last transmitter, Evelyn. You on the horn? Riley, can you hear me? I'm in the car. I finally got my car started. I'm, I'm on the road. Sorry I can't pick you up. If I get too close to the coastline, the battery starts to drain again. Over. Oh, where are you going? Over. I left work and I'm heading to my partner's place. She's been home for a bit. Uh, my sister never called Riley. I still can't get in contact with her. I took your advice and told my mom the truth. I think it was the right thing to do. But I'm just... I can't be at work anymore. Because it's just work. That's what it is. Work. And my family's my life. Even though tonight was really exciting for me. And you were a big part of that. Thanks for the readings, Riley. I mean it. This information will help so much if anything like this ever happens in the future. But right now, I just have to... I just want to be home and wait by the phone. If that makes sense. Over. Okay, Evelyn. I hope you hear from your sister soon. Over. Thanks. Okay, Riley. If you still need anything, feel free to call. I'll be on the line just in case. See you later, Jacob. Hope you find your doggy. Thanks, Evelyn. Take care. And good luck. Over and out. Talk to me, Nick. Tell me you're safe. Hey, Riley. I'm safe. Things have, uh, yeah, they've really settled out here. Really seemed like it was something else. Uh, yeah, smooth sailing now. Foggy, but smooth. You're disappointed about this? Over? Well, I, uh, I guess I just thought... Every light is flipped on when you're a kid, you know? You want to do everything. Everything seems like everything. It's in front of you. Okay, here we are. Home sweet something. There's a phone in the general store. 
maybe one more break in for old time's sake, just to call you a ride. I'd give you a lift, but it's a five minute walk and my truck is still dead. So if I don't see you, uh, wait. Hmm. Uh, Jacob? What's up, buddy? You see Athena over there? Jacob? Jacob, come on, the night's done. Let's not crack open a Pandora's box of bad jokes you've been storing. Did you get a little, uh, deja vu just now? Uh, wait, was there a... Oranges and lemons, say the bells of St. Clements. Here comes a candle to light you to bed, and here comes a chopper to chop off your head. Wait, Alex? What are you doing? Oh, that late, I... <laughs> Jacob, are you... is he okay? He's fine. He can even hear us, but he can't really respond right now. But look, this isn't what I'm here for. Back in Garland, when Jacob was affected in the time loop, that wasn't me. It was them. The Sunken. The crew of the USS Kanaloa. They've been using the half-open gate to pierce through timelines and talk to Olivia when I wasn't. Told her we were done, that this wouldn't work, that it shouldn't work, but she has a determination in her that the sunken are taking advantage of. Alex, what is going on? Really, you seem nervous. I am nervous, rightly, because the sunken, they're gonna take over everyone and everything just to come back. They've convinced Olivia to go to Edwards Island and use the comm tower to open another portal. They're gonna consume everything and everyone they can to reconstitute themselves. The way I wanted to do it was a clean swap. This will be more like a hostile takeover. Everyone in Kamina is in danger, and you're the only one that can stop it from happening. You and Jacob. All right, well, you're helping us. I don't know how or, you know, but you need to help. Of course, Riley. I can't let Olivia do this. Okay, we're out of time here. Now, get a boat. I'll see you over there. I guess it was just... Wait, what happened? Was Alex here? She, she, she was she was here, and then she said the... the... Duncan are coming back? Is that... I didn't dream that yesterday, and I'm only just remembering it now, right? Yeah, the crew of the USS Canaloa wants out of purgatory. And apparently we're all in really deep trouble if we don't prevent them from popping out of a new portal Olivia's trying to open. So now, we need to get to Edwards Island before she inadvertently destroys our lives. We were so very close to being in our own respective beds. So close. So close. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know. Something tells me we need a boat? Is that right? It's... I'm still a little foggy. So... Uh... That doesn't leave a lot of options. Hey, you wouldn't be against us just a borrowing one from the docks for a few hours, right? I feel like this is worth the less than completely ethical way we're gonna go about it. But, yeah, that's me. Okay, you don't want to implicate yourself here. That's... I get it. I get it. There's always a few boats tied to the pier down here. And, you know, since we're going to Edwards Island, this is kind of... it. Any loose threads? No, it's kind of the time. Not that I'm stalling. Loose threads? Is there a loose thread I'm missing, Jacob? Hey, a lot of weird stuff happened tonight. And I'm just saying, if all goes well, this whole harrowing experience is done after we get on that boat. So, anything you want to do before it's done... Better do it now. Okay, let's see who bought the cheapest lock. Hey. 
Thank you there. We have to go to Edwards Island. Things aren't going well. Over. Oh, yeah? What's, uh, what's going on? Olivia's... she's still trying, and that and that's it. She just... she won't quit. Over. Well, a part of me admires it. Sorry you're on the other end. Well, thanks for the photo and the shoe, Riley. I'll send you an advanced copy of the book. And good luck out there. Over. I'll keep an eye out for it. Trust no one, etc. Bye. Over and out. Talk to me, Nick. Tell me you're safe. Hey, Riley. I'm safe. Things have, uh, yeah, they've really settled out here. Really seemed like it was something else. But, yeah, smooth sailing now. Foggy, but smooth. That's good, Nick. I don't know why, but I feel the need to tell you that. Over. Sure, yeah. I just, uh... I guess I just... Okay, so here's not exactly chock-a-block, but one of these should do. Talk to me, Nick. Tell me you're safe. Hey, Riley. I'm safe. Things have, uh, yeah, they've really settled out here. Really seemed like it was something else. Yeah, smooth sailing now. Foggy, but smooth. You're disappointed about this? Over? Well, I, uh, I guess I just thought... <sighs> Every light is flipped on when you're a kid, you know? You want to do everything. Everything seems like everything. It's in front of you. The lights of possibility. What you're gonna do, gonna be... Who you're gonna meet, one by one, those lights get flicked off. And the rest are so bright you don't notice the darkness in the distance. Until you do. <sighs> I'm sorry. Sometimes staring at calm water. It... Look, just turn it around and. Yeah, come home. I know. I know, I know, I know. I should go. I need to focus up. It's still foggy out. Give me a call later. Over and out. This looks... Uh, I don't know. It would get us there fast, but the controls look pretty advanced. Do you know how to drive it? Uh, nope. I'd be worried about crashing into high water rocks. Let's find something simpler. This looks... fine. Yeah, here to there is all we need. It's Ava's. She runs a bait shop. She always tries to get me to go with her to field test new products. I guess so she could feel less guilty about fishing on the clock. Dude, she was totally flirting with you. I mean, clearly she had t-ball level game, but still, that's a proper flirt. Hey, Jake, let's go skewer some worms. That's when I knew we were meant to be. It's padlocked to the dock, and we need the key to start the thing. But I bet all the coins in my pocket that the key's in the shop. And knowing Ava, the door's probably unlocked. No one's exactly itching to steal leeches and mealworms, so... Okay, so we need a code for the lock and a key for the boat. And hopefully some calm water after that. Come on. Ha, knew it. No one secures their damn doors in this town. Tomorrow I'm- At least you remember to lock, lock this. Lock. I'll stay out here and keep watch. If we're in trouble, I'll... 7 uh, is highlighted. Or something. Huh. Okay. M.B.? Ah, oh, sail on Nightcrawlers. And me, without my checkbook. 3.15 is pretty good, right? 
I have no idea what I'm saying. Ah, happy birthday, Marco. <laughs> that is a lot of chocolate cake. Wait, MB. Marco's birthday? Okay, seriously, woman, are you trying to get your boat stolen? Eh, whatever. Gift horse, mouth, etc. I think we got everything we need. Did, did you hear that? Athena? Oh, Athena! Did you freaking knucklehead? Oh, I'm gonna kill you. Oh my god, I was so worried! Oh, thank god. I kept thinking... Oh, I don't want to say what I was thinking. She seems all right. <sighs> Is it okay if I pet her? Oh, let's find out. Athena, can Riley pet you? Athena, speak. <laughs> That means yes. You know how many TV remotes this mud has obliterated? Oh, Athena, I swear to Vishnu, I'm getting you a bell. A very large bell that you can hear from Wisconsin. No more running off. Okay, seriously, this this is sweet. Maybe too sweet. Oh, for sure. But, like, I needed this real bad. Oh, man, this is... <laughs> Sorry. I'm uh, not usually like this, you know, but uh, it's been a long night. She's my home, you know? She's my home. It's just... It's nice to feel relieved. For once. It's okay, Jacob. It's all right. All right, come on, girl. I'll be right back. Like, right the hell back. So don't you wiggle away. You hear me? Be my good girl. Stay here. Sound good? Speak. Sounds good. I have to do this thing. It's an opportunity to do something important. And, uh, if I don't make it back, it's not because I didn't try. The one in town will take you in. They all know you. You'll, uh, you'll be okay. Okay? Okay. I'm ready. I think you know the code? Seven, one, one. Ta-da. Hey, nice work. Okie doke. After you, ladies first. Age before, ooh, um, yeah, after you. Uh, hey, come on. Get on. Is there a problem? Jacob, I really... I think you should stay here. What? <laughs> no, I'm... What? <laughs> Riley, what are you doing? Why wouldn't I go? Of course I'm going. Look, Jacob, you should stay with Athena. What we're doing? What I have to do? It's... This is unacceptably dangerous. My conscience is already well below sea level. I'm not adding getting a guy killed who was just trying to do a job, okay? No, not okay. Riley, we have the same job. Just get on the boat. This is stupid. Riley. <sighs> You're not gonna die, are you? Because if you die, I'm not going to be a happy environmental researcher. We'll be okay. It's going to work out, don't worry.
I used to uh, pride myself on owning the very first issue of TV Guide. It has a the I Love Lucy baby on the cover. For months, it was my only goal to get it. I'm mentioning this because this is probably like the greatest thing I'm gonna do in my life. Helping you fix all this. There's no topping that. Come on, you don't know that for sure. You might invent a new kind of, I don't know, chair? No, I don't know. But gun to my head, I'd bet it all on red, so to speak. It gets old being a fix-it man. Your job is to look at something broken. Just a lifetime of staring at failure. And hopefully, fixing it. There's honor in fixing things for people. You could say that's a noble profession. I'm not saying it's not. I'm saying it's complicated. It's just, this is gonna be it. This is the apex of my accomplishment. Another fix-it job. Bigger job, more important job, sure, but a fix-it job still. I don't know. This would have been nice if the number one spot was taken by something I created. Maybe that's selfish? I don't know. No, that's not selfish. That makes sense. I think we'd all like to be remembered for something more than she loved to laugh or some crap like that. If we remembered at all. Maybe this is the night it all turns around. As he sailed away from the silent city, socks still uncomfortably damp, Jacob Summers decided he'd fixed enough. After tonight, the only thing he would try to fix is himself. <laughs> How stupid does that sound, right? authentic and genuinely not sarcastic or smoke-blowing way, the beautiful, mysterious, well-dressed, and modest Riley Poverly told him, I believe in you, Jacob Summers. Thanks. I'm sure you have other things on your mind besides all this. Anyways. Oh, almost there. But first... for luck. Like when we crossed the bridge, you know? For luck. <laughs>